Well, good afternoon and good evening, everyone, wherever you happen to be. My name is Brad Bollinger. I'm the publisher of the North Bay Business Journal. Thank you from all of us at the journal for being with us. This is our 14th annual Top Projects Awards presented uh, virtually here. I hope this is the last time we have to do this virtually, but it's the way we can do it. And thank you for being with us. I have looked at these 23 projects over and over, and I have to tell you, uh, all of you inspired me. And you convinced me that we must return to our offices and schools. Uh, and you'll notice that there are a few schools that said they can't wait to get their students back because this built environment is so inspiring to the spirit, to innovation and to human uh, collaboration. I'm, I'm convinced if the longer we stay at home, uh, the, the more likely we're going to stifle some innovation, we'll lose, we lose something. So uh, we're going to get back, we're going to get back. Uh, and this innovation, this inspiration comes as something as simple as a, a bank branch where the architecture artfully captures a complex agricultural heritage and environmental sensitivity of the community. Uh, to our elementary, high school, and college classrooms where innovators of tomorrow are being made or will be made. To innovative housing for our low income and homeless neighbors. To historic renovations to healing integrated healthcare environment. These projects, which you'll hear about uh, in the next 90 minutes or so, are symbols of hope and human progress. And I don't think that's overstating them. And they are proof of the incredibly talented builders, architects, engineers, and other building professionals it, it, that the North Bay is blessed with. Thank you for your work. And we at the Business Journal hope these recognitions over the last 14 years has given some uh, deserving to your work, deserving recognition to your work, and just maybe, maybe uh, at the margins inspired you somehow. We invite you to be inspired. And again, I said the next 90 minutes uh, in some of our awards events, people have put comments into the chat box just for fun. Um, and that's certainly open to you. Uh, and we'll, we'll tell you a little bit about these projects, which join over 200 other uh, projects in the built environment that have been recognized over the past 14 years. And thank you to those who submitted uh, nominations many, many weeks ago in a public process and the winners here tonight were selected by the Business Journal editorial staff. You know, back in March in the, the pandemic sent us all scrambling, we quickly moved, uh, we, we believed it was our mission to continue to bring uh, events, uh, informational events about our economy, about our industries, healthcare, wine, uh, whatever we had, it was our mission to continue to do that and then also to continue to recognize uh, outstanding work of all kinds in our community. And that's what's driving us here today. And thank you to our sponsors for continuing to support our virtual events like this one. And we can offer these, have offered all of them. In fact, one of them had over 800 attendees free to attendees. We can do that because of the support of our sponsors. So first and foremost, please join me in thanking our underwriter here today Gelati Construction Company. Uh, give them, if you know someone there, give them a wave or, you know, send them an email, say thank you. And then our award sponsors, Exchange Bank, Providence St. Joseph Health, Mid-State Construction, Wright Contracting, and our winner sponsors here uh, uh, tonight, this afternoon, are uh, Boulder Associates Architects, GMH Builders, Sonoma Clean Power, Sonoma Hill Builders, TLCD Architecture. Thank you so much for supporting this event. So here's how it will go. I will be presenting some of the uh, events or some of the awards, excuse me, uh, to our awardees. You'll see some uh, photographs and, and a couple of videos uh, about the projects. And then our, our sponsors will be joining us to present some of the awards as well. So it's now my pleasure to start with our first award, which goes to the Oaks at Fountain Grove. It was uh, 46 homes rebuilt after uh, the fires at Fountain Grove. The Oaks is a 46 home community originally built in 1994 to serve Sonoma County's rapidly growing population. All of the homes were lost in the 2017 Tubbs fire. 
uh, Farmers Insurance and the HOA chose uh, Sonoma County-based Faro Commercial Construction to rebuild the entire community starting in 2018. All residents will be back in their homes by the end of the year. Rebuilding quickly was a priority along with eliminating uh, some former issues with the construction, plus making the community resistant to future disasters. Uh, to avoid a concrete shortage uh, that could have delayed the project, Faro acquired its own batch plant. That's taking matters into your own hands. Faro also formed the 707 Des Design Studio to help meet the homeowner's priorities and preferences while managing budgets. Many fire resistant building materials were used, including metal roofs, sealed attics, stucco exteriors, fire rated windows, and fire and drought resistant landscaping. Please uh, join us in congratulating the Oaks at Fountain Grove and Faro Commercial uh, Construction for this award. Congratulations. Next, I'd like to present the next award to uh, 13647 Arnold Drive in Glen Ellen. This is a mixed use uh, affordable housing project. It involved the renovation of a popular restaurant and mercantile building in the historic village of Glen Ellen's, down, uh, of Glen Ellen's downtown center. Uh, it including site work, of course, uh, followed by the construction of multifamily affordable housing parking and uh, three electric vehicle star, uh, charging stations. Developer Stephen Sorkin with Ab Abrams Farm LLC worked closely with the local residents planning and choosing a design that converted two apartments and two vacant commercial spaces into six one bedroom and two three bedroom residential apartments after extensive demolition and uh, former retail spaces. Quote, Sorkin devoted hours of discussion and presentation with residents, community organizations, and business owners to earn their trust and ensure that this pro project would meet the community needs. Uh, also, um, the, I was, was said about him that residents recognized the need for both affordable housing and, and uh, businesses to keep on serving locals and tourists. Uh, the occupancy is expected by year end uh, other firms who participated in this project included general contractor Desmond and Wallace, uh, Castor Architecture, Brokaw Design, Stanley Engineering, and LTD Engineering. Congratulations to 13647 Arnold Drive in Glen Ellen. Congratulations. It's now my pleasure to present the next award to Davidson Middle School of Science, Tech, Engineering, and Math Center. This is in the San Rafael City School District, the rapidly expanding uh, Davidson Middle School in, in San Rafael. They need a new modern flexible space for its forward thinking science and math program. Working with a tight budget and schedule, the project team of Kotroki Kwok Architects and Jeff Luchin Construction completed a two-story modular classroom building with 10 integrated science labs, six prep rooms, student and staff restrooms and electrical and mechanical room, of course, science courtyard and outdoor classroom spaces. With the um, uh, shelter in place order, uh, students were only able to occupy the new building for a few months before virtual learning went into effect, but school officials say this facility will be an asset as the staff looks ahead to make decisions around hybrid and in-person learning. It was a $12 million project. Congratulations to San Rafael City School District and Davidson Middle School Science, Tech, Engineering and Math Center. Congratulations. The next award uh, goes to El Molino High School Arts Center completed uh, this, just this last August. This is a 9,000 square foot performing art center with capacity for 301 seats. Yeah, again, it was completed in August, filling a long awaited need for a special place to showcase the school's drama, band, and dance performances. In the past, the school's cafeteria had become known as a cafetorium, literally splitting the room in half to make room for a makeshift stadium seating in the audience. When funds became available through Measure I in 2010, the West County Union High School District turned to Kutroki Kwok Architects to design a proper and beautiful space for arts production, assemblies, and community use. It was built by GCCI builders in two phases at an estimated cost of 7.6 million for phase one 
and 4.1 million for phase uh, two. Phase one included a stage with pipe grid for prop lighting, et cetera. Phase two involved modernizing back of the house areas, including additional space for cover main entry lobby area, lobby area, concessions, tickets, accessible rooms, et cetera. Uh, congratulations to El Molino uh, High School. Congratulations. It's now my pleasure to introduce, to pre uh, present the next two awards that Teresa Scott, who's Community Workforce Health Supervisor for Providence St. Joseph Health, and Tyler Hedden will follow her. He is the CEO of Providence St. Joseph Health, Sonoma County. Please welcome Teresa and Tyler. Good evening, my name is Teresa Scott and I work for Providence St. Joseph Health as a workforce health supervisor out of Santa Rosa Memorial Hospital. I have the pleasure of introducing the next winner Exchange Bank for their Sebastopol branch project. The design approach for Exchange Bank's new branch in Sebastopol melts local and regional features reflecting the rich heritage of its rural surroundings with a contemporary character expressing its modern banking practices. An informal inventory of existing town buildings showed a diverse range of architectural styles. Without a single theme to guide designers, they decided to investigate Sebastopol's rich agricultural heritage. The final design recalls traditional agrarian elements such as barns, apple dryers, local apple and wine industries, as well as Luther Burbank's experimental farm outside of town. Windows, clear finished exterior wood poles, rustic landscape materials, and plantings were selected to support the design concept. Stormwater runoff comes from a single point on the roof and cascades into a strongly expressed rain garden at the building perimeter, allowing stormwater to percolate into the soil. The main shed roof faces southwest, an ideal fitting for rooftop solar panels. A secondary opposing shed roof provides a canopy sheltering the ATM machine and serves as a gracious entry into the building, according to Don Tomasi, principal at TLCD Architecture. Substantial entry glazing reinforces the indoor-outdoor relationship, as does the clear story at the highway side of the building, which facilitates a view of the forested hill beyond, while providing natural light to the interior. Numerous other sustainability best practices are integrated throughout the project. JMA general contractors worked with Brel J and Ray's consulting civil engineers, ZFA structural engineers, TEP mechanical engineers, Summit Electrical Engineering, and Quadriga landscape architects in implementing these improvements. Please join me in congratulating Exchange Bank. Good evening, I'm Tyler Hedden, Chief Executive for St. Joseph Health, Sonoma County. I have the pleasure of introducing the next winner, Santa Rosa Junior College for their Jeff Kundi Hall project. Jeff Kundi Hall on Santa Rosa Junior College main campus is a 25,000 square foot facility built at a cost of 18.8 .8 million, providing temporary housing for classrooms and labs while also serving as a permanent home for the math department's faculty offices. Kundi Hall's two linear buildings at 525 Elliott Avenue are organized around a landscape central courtyard that functions as a social hub for students and faculty. Each classroom has generous storefront glazing facing the courtyard, creating a strong indoor outdoor connection. A grand staircase touches down in the plaza at the east end of the site and serves as a welcoming sculptured feature while providing access between the offices and classrooms on the upper level and the future STEM campus core across the street. The roof forms of the two buildings were positioned to provide superior daylight and solar orientation, and also to conceal mechanical equipment and mitigate shadowing impacts to the neighboring single family residential buildings. The design features abundant daylight, high performance mechanical systems, and flexibility for spaces to be easily reconfigured in future phases. Using modular construction, the design build team was able to successfully deliver the building within a very ambitious schedule. While featuring a beautiful cementitious built board on the exterior skin, 
to meet the high standards for design and quality expected on this heritage campus. Arch architects at TLCD created the building design and Wright Contracting was the general contractor. Civil engineering was provided by Brel G and Race. Other contractors included Nihils Modular, Quadriga Landscape and Architect Planning, Peterson Mechanical, O'Mahony and Meyer, and Charles M. Salter Acoustics. Congratulations to the team at Santa Rosa Junior College. Well, thank you, uh, Teresa and Tyler, for making those presentations. It's now my pleasure to present the next four awards. The next one goes to the Advanced Energy Center for Sonoma Clean Power. This is located at 741 4th Street in Santa Rosa. It was completed in October and it will serve as an innovative community centric hub for clean energy technology. Sonoma Clean Power will use this center to showcase innovative energy saving technologies while also offering clean energy classes and connecting homeowners and businesses with products um, and contractors who can provide installation services. Uh, construction costs total uh, 14.2 million. A demonstration kitchen will be the training site for those considering in induction and appliances and cooling techniques, while a next generation clubhouse will serve as a clean energy resource for youth and for the benefit of the local, environmental, uh, envi local environment and climate change. Homeowners, designers, architects, builders, and installers will be able to take advantage of educational certification courses in this large training room that features uh, tubular skylights uh, that uh, Sonoma Clean Power customers might choose to install in residential or commercial uh, projects. The showroom is arranged to facilitate easy navigation of technologies on display along uh, the perimeter. Clean energy exhibits, including all electric living and electric vehicle displays surround a comfortably uh, furnished area with cloud ceiling above. The general contractor for the center was Agabayani Construction, the design created by TLCD Architecture. As civil engineering services were Borelgi and Race Consulting Engineers, CFA engineers contributed structural engineering support, and Gutman and Blavet uh, provided an MEP services, and TCOM were responsible for audio uh, visual systems. Please join us in uh, congratulating the Advanced Energy Center for Sonoma Clean Power. Our next award goes to the Art House, which is the first uh, mixed use house in Santa Rosa in downtown Santa Rosa in several years. Art House located at 627 Street in Santa Rosa will be the first urban infill mixed use project built downtown in several years, according to Hugh Futrell as a general contractor, as well as the owner developer of this housing project that is scheduled for completion here, according to this tomorrow. So uh, wishing them well. Uh, the project will bring critically needed housing to the city's walkable transit friendly center with a myriad of uh, nearby choices for dining, shopping and entertainment. It is located on the edge of the residential Cherry Street Historic District the building's ground floor art gallery and public art displays will enliven the streetscape uh, and create a new hub of activities for neighbors and the city as a whole. The four-story building consists of 21 residential units and an additional 15 hospitality suites for extended stay and short-term occupancies. The exposed timber will serve as a finished ceiling for the ground floor revealing the beautiful building structure to visitors and residents designed by Daniel Backman at TLCD Architecture. Congratulations to Hugh Futrell and the Art House in downtown Santa Rosa. It's now my pleasure to present the next award to Irene Snow uh, Elementary School. It was rebuilt outside of an earthquake zone. This is in Napa and after the 2014 Napa earthquake, Fault traces were discovered at the uh, Irene Snow Elementary School uh, on Foster Road. The Napa Valley Unified School District decided to rebuild the 420 student school on the same site outside the no build zone. The design team led by TLCD Arch Architecture developed a phasing plan providing an interim 
housing village comprised of 24 uh, portable buildings for the 2018-2019 school year, while a new 40,000 square foot campus was being built by Arntz Builders. You notice the, the demolition process there. Construction costs totaled 30.7 million. The new classrooms were designed as a 30 by 32 foot uh, modules, a proportion that allows for more flexible teaching styles and one that can be competitively bid by most modular structure builders. The design features uh, north facing uh, windows and sloped ceilings optimized to provide even light distribution throughout the uh, classrooms, augmented by a linear LED pendant fixtures with daylight sensors that supplement natural daylight uh, while using very little energy. Several subcontractors were also engaged in the project, including the SFA structural engineers, RSA civil engineers, Quadriga landscape uh, architecture and planning, TEP engineering on the mechanical and plumbing, and O'Mahony and Meyer on electrical and Bollinger restaurant equipment. Congratulations to the Napa Valley Unified School District and Irene Snow Elementary School. I'll bet you can't wait to get your students back there. Next project, another terrific school project, Laurel Dell Elementary School, a campus modernization uh, project. Uh, this was San Rafael City Schools officials wanted to address both the growing enrollment and outdated facilities at Laurel Dell Elementary School uh, with a desire for modern buildings to match its academic program while adhering to a tight budget of 14.7 million and working with a relatively small sloped site. The project team, uh, Kotroki Kwok Architects and Swinnerton Builders delivered a mixture of new construction with modernization of existing buildings. Uh, completed early this year, the new safe and flexible layout includes administration multi-use building, eight new classrooms for grades uh, one to four, uh, renovations were also made to an existing building yielding two new kindergarten classrooms. Flexibility was important. All learning environments support team teaching and differentiated learning. Small group rooms were incorporated for conference space, parent-teacher conferences, and uh, tutoring. Sustainable features include an updated ventilation system and op operable windows were designed well in advance of the pandemic but will be assets as teachers and city officials look forward to reopening this campus. Congratulations to San Rafael City Schools and Laurel Dell Elementary School. Congratulations. I also like to once again acknowledge our award sponsors. You see them there on your, on your screen. Thank you, Exchange Bank, Providence, St. Joseph Health, Mid-State Construction and Wright Contracting for supporting this event here today. So I'd now like to introduce Mikkel Christian, who is the Marketing and Business Development Administrator for Mid-State Construction to present the next two awards. Actually, next three awards. Redwood Grove Housing, located in Nampa, is being developed by Burbank Housing, is designed by TFA Architects, and built by Mid-State Construction. The neighborhood features 34 four-cell single-family homes. The homes feature three bedrooms and up to two and a half baths privately enclosed backyards and one car garages. This new affordable home ownership opportunity is exclusively for low to moderate income first time home buyers. We are pleased to present the top projects award to Burbank Housing for Redwood Grove Housing. Montana Place Homes located in Santa Rosa features 48 four cell single family homes for low and moderate income households. Developed by Burbank Housing, designed by TFA Architects, and built by Mid-State Construction, the neighborhood sits on 3.7 acres, and homes range from 1,145 to 1,325 square feet, with an open floor plan, nine-foot high ceilings, private backyards, and single-car garages. We are honored to present Burbank Housing the Top Projects Award for Lantana Place Homes. Santa Rosa Junior College Petaluma Student Services Project is a renovation and addition of educational buildings located on the Petaluma campus. The project owned by SRJC, designed by TBP Architecture and is built by Mid-State Construction. The new student center will help students stay on campus and be engaged in their studies thanks to modern co-working flexible workspaces, 
with a media wall, gaming center, kitchen, and laundry. We are honored to present Santa Rosa Junior College with the Top Projects Award for the Petaluma Student Services Project. Well, thank you so much, Mikkel, and congratulations to Redwood Grove Housing, Lantana Place Homes, and uh, Santa Rosa Junior College uh, Petaluma Student Services Project. And certainly those affordable projects are, are needed and, and welcome. Thank you so much. It's uh, now my um, pleasure to present uh, the next five awards. And the next one goes to Redwood Hill Ranch's new custom luxury estate. It's, it's quite a place. Behind the gates, this, this was a loss. If you know, in case of a wildfire strikes you, you rebuild something spectacular and this certainly uh, fits that bill. Behind the gates of Redwood Hill Ranch sits a stunning new custom uh, built luxury single family estate home on 1920 Redwood Hill Road, uh, contemporary Spanish Mediterranean style it was de designed by George Bevan, uh, Bevan and Associates and aided by Four Seasons design team of interior designs called uh, consultants. This modern California property it was built in 2020, completed in October by general contractor and owners, Alpha Partners and Sonoma Hill Builders with engineering services provided by Inertia. This gated 26 acre uh, wine uh, country estate is listed at uh, 6.75 million, has many amenities, as you can see. I keep saying it kind of looks like my house. Uh, it's a 5,000 square foot main story home with uh, four bedrooms and four and a half baths, a media room, 1,200 square foot great room, and a custom designed gourmet uh, kitchen. Uh, it, the, this property off of Mark West Springs Road is minutes away from Sonoma County Airport and the vistas, as you can imagine from this hilltop, provide both valley and ridge uh, panoramas and include mountains, hills, forests, the woodlands and canyons. Congratulations on this spectacular home to all involved and Alpha Partners and Sonoma Hill Builders. Congratulations. It's now my pleasure to present the next uh, award to Sage Commons, um, which is a permanent uh, home for low and income homeless residents. Sage Commons uh, is supportive housing with 53 studio apartments and a one bedroom unit for a, a resident manager. This complex is designed for those with low uh, incomes and to provide shelter for people experiencing homelessness in Santa Rosa. It's not going to be finished until later this year, but we thought it was important to, to show this uh, as a symbol of what's being done to help uh, some of our residents who are most in need. The project involves parcels at 8 and 60 College Avenue. It was designed by a Raul Broca architect and is being built by the owner general contractor Danko Communities. Uh, again, the, the contract value of this project is $12 million. It's a three-story, 36,000 square foot wood frame structure. It will also have offices for service providers, therapy rooms, and 24-7 security. The facility will have integrated on-site supportive social services to actively work with residents to achieve their best uh, provided in collaboration with Sonoma County Community Development Commission Sonoma County Department of Health Services and Reach for Home. The site includes a, an internal private courtyard that contains community gardens, benches, trees, covered walkway, and a 56 bicycle uh, shelter and repair station. All apartments are located along a wide a continuous balcony and units have been clustered into three groupings uh, around amenity spaces that include a fitness room on each floor and a common laundry lounge. The first floor offices uh, include uh, meeting rooms uh, and a large meeting room with an open kitchen for instructional purposes. Thank you to everyone who's involved in this project and for bringing it to Santa Rosa. It is so needed. Congratulations to Sage, Sage Commons. It's now my pleasure to present uh, the next award to San Marin High School's STEM Center the newly completed Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Center at San Marin High School, located in the Novato uh, Unified School District, is not a typical high school science lab. It closely replicates, I really like this particular story, 
it closely replicates pro, uh, professional work environments that students will encounter in the future should they choose careers in the disciplines uh, by offering project-based science uh, and math curriculum that allows students to develop their critical thinking skills through scientific experiments and by solving real world problems. This 18,000 square foot building built at a cost of 11.8 million was intentionally designed and constructed by the project team of Katroki Kwok Architects and BHH Construction. Um, uh, it was intentionally built for, uh, with these design features uh, in place. The Samarin STEM Center includes 10 classrooms and lab laboratories, with some situated in pairs with operational partition dividers, as well as student breakout spaces, group study, along with staff and support space. The layout and flexibility of these spaces is meant to inspire collaboration and connection, which is something I mentioned at the beginning that's so important for us to get back to our places of work. Lab casework finishes and utilities were purposely chosen to replicate those often found in professional laboratories. The STEM center was co constructed as sol solar ready. Students, staff, and teachers eagerly await their introduction to this modern new building when it's once again safe to return to campus. Congratulations uh, to, to Navajo Unified School District and San Marin High School STEM Center. Congratulations. Our next recipient is a large Class A warehouse at the Solano uh, Business Park. This uh, Solano Business Park is rapidly expanding. It's a regional North Bay storage and distribution hub with close proximity to highway and rail transportation. And it is mo mostly equidistant from major commerce centers such as Sacramento area airport, 49 miles away, San Francisco, 41 miles, San Rafael, 41, and the Port of Oakland, 40 miles. A new state-of-the-art 104,000 square foot warehouse and distribution center has been built at uh, 2370 North Watney Way. It's in Fairfield, adjacent to the Jelly Belly Candy Company. Uh, this Class A industrial facility was completed uh, mid-year and is already leased. This location affords easy access to I-80 uh, with uh, 700, uh, 474 feet of frontage on Highway 12. The location, uh, the building is situated on five and a half acres and is 220 feet deep and 520 feet wide. The building is divisible to 26,000, 52,000, 78,000, or 104,000 square foot sections. Uh, congratulations to the, uh, the project. Uh, with those involved, including uh, Phil Garrett with Colliers International and Brian Tulloch, and the general contractor on the project was, was Buzz Oates Construction, and the architect and structural engineer was Leo McGlade Architect. Colin Sherry provided the civil engineering services. Congratulations to this Solano Business Park project. It's now my pleasure to present the next award to Somo Village's Sky Lounge, a grand entry to the mixed use spaces as this development, you had the former Hewlett Packard Agilent site is continues. Sky Lounge brings to Sonoma Mountain Village and Runner Park another step closer to transforming the previous HP facility into a new and vibrant mixed-use campus. As one of Somo's most recent construction projects, Sky Lounge is located on the second floor of 1400 Valley Horse Drive, offering a fresh look for the entrance to a large multi-purpose space for gatherings, outside business retreats, and uh, Somo meetings. This inviting entry opens to a new deck addition via glass roll-up doors facing the Sonoma uh, Somo events deck, and the deck is furnished to work in indoor comfort or to serve as a place to hold fresh air meetings and a place where the public can sit back and listen to the summer concert series. A new office kitchen is tucked into a corner and wrapped in a, a fired cedar treated to a dark crackled black finish in contrast to the otherwise bright industrial interior. The lounge construction uh, uh, was opened, uh, opened on September the 2nd. Uh, connecting Sky Lounge to Somos new offices is a, is a large opening allowing natural light and view of redwood trees, planters, and the office works uh, slat wall treatment uh, used to repurpose Sonoma State University bleacher wood recycled from a macro scale down to the details. 
SoCo Construction was the general, uh, SOMO Construction, excuse me, was the general contractor. Uh, MAD Architecture created the design contact and SOMO Living provided the funding for the, the, uh, for the project. That should be SoCo Construction was the general uh, contractor. Congratulations to SOMO Village on its new Sky Lounge. Can't wait to get down there. I also want to mention our winter sponsors here, uh, Somo, uh, uh, Somo Hill, uh, Sonoma Hill Builders, Boulder Associates Architects, GMH Builders, Sonoma Clean Power and TLCD Architecture. Thanks again for supporting uh, the, the, the print section, of course, this event as well. Now I'd like to introduce uh, Eric uh, Luffelholtz, uh, Superintendent for Right Contracting and Doug Marshall, Operations Manager for uh, right contracting to present the next uh, two awards. Please welcome Eric and Doug. On behalf of right contracting, I would like to congratulate Joseph Phelps Vineyards on their selection as one of the North Bay's top projects of 2020. This state-of-the-art wine production facility was made possible by the design team led by Von Raisfeld Architecture and implemented by right contracting and a premier group of subcontractors. We are proud of the finished product in which Joseph Phelps Vineyards many good growing years utilizing their new production facility. Hi, I'm Doug Marshall. On behalf of Wright Contracting, I would like to congratulate the Hanson family as well as the employees of Bricolaire Vineyards on the North Bay Business Journal Top Product Award for their new winery barn. I had the privilege of working with Mark Hansen and his daughter, Sarah Cintron, on this project. Not only are they great to work with, but I deeply admire their commitment to protecting the environment and how they run the winery, as well as the green building approach they took to this project. Congratulations again to Mark and Sarah and everyone at Bricolaire Vineyards. Well, thank you to Eric and Doug at Wright Contracting. Uh, for making those presentations. Uh, we're going to present the final four awards. And the first one goes to the Taub family uh, outpost, uh, this historic 1910 Spanish colonial style uh, bank building on the Sonoma Town Square on uh, First Street West became the home for the Taub family outpost this year. Opening days before the shelter in place order, the plan was to offer an all day experience, including morning coffee, lunchtime get togethers, a wine shop, an airy market, after work socializing in the cozy family lounge, wine bar and full service restaurant, plus late night fest festivities in, in the uh, Beacon cocktail bar. Obviously the pandemic, customers are, get to drive to the window, a window at the corner of West Napa Street and First Street West, to pick up items ordered by phone. What a beautiful looking restoration. So fitting for Sonoma. Taub is planning a phase two in 2021, an exterior hospitality experience. The scope requires interior shoring system to support the building while reinforced masonry walls are moved and repaired. This uh, 5,550 square foot two-story adobe-like building received extensive uh, restoration and seismic improvements. Use of interior plaster, exposed timber and brick mission style oak millwork and flooring, art glass, stairwell, hand painted murals and accents uh, with uh, interior, uh, with designer antique lighting create an environment uh, that customers can enjoy. The restoration and building build out was completed uh, early this year. Taub Family Outpost is owned by Linda Taub. Uh, GMH Builders was the general contractor that performed the restoration work, and Studio Becky Carter was the interior designer for this project. Congratulations to the Taub family outposts, and we can't wait uh, for you to be able to do everything that you initially wanted to do. Congratulations. Our next award goes to the historic Gordon Building, restored after the 2014 Napa quake. Uh, Napa's historic 1930s era Spanish colonial revival Gordon Building, located at 1131st Street in Napa, was a victim of the earthquake that struck Napa six years ago. This iconic 20,000 square foot two-story structure in downtown 
received extensive re restoration over a year, returning to its original look. This building, known for its intricate Italian terracotta exterior, along with the unique architectural design and elaborate details, was severely damaged, necessitating, necessitating seismic retrofitting and repairs. The restoration was completed early this year, and the cost of the project was estimated to be 16 million. And this historic value of this building demanded special care to give it new life. An interior shoring system was erected to support the building, while uh, unreinforced masonry walls were removed and repaired. A new steel brace of frame and foundation was installed. 35% of the building's original finishes from its 1929 area were restored. Uh, based on the direction from the Napa County Historical Society. And this included 400 linear feet of one by one plaster crown molding and also involved the recreation of the original plaster wall finishes and mezzanines. Gordon Venture LLC uh, is owned by uh, Zapolsky Real Estate LLC. Right Contracting was the general contractor that performed the restoration and seismic work and Napa Design Partners was the architect for this project. Congratulations to everyone involved on the restoration of this historic Gordon building. Thank you for your work. Our next project is the new medical arts plaza for Providence St. Joseph here in, in Santa Rosa. Uh, Providence St. Joseph announced the opening of the new four-story 92,000 square foot medical arts plaza in July of this year. It's uh, right there on Montgomery uh, Drive across from Santa Rosa Memorial Hospital is providing uh, convenient full service access addressing patients' health needs. Uh, this campus-like facility with an adjacent 600 car parking lot provides a one-stop healing environment with a home-like atmosphere. Total project construction was 82 million uh, for the Medical Arts Plaza and uh, excuse me, was the total uh, construction cost was 82.2 million with 56 0.7 going for the Medical Arts Plaza and 25.5 for the parking building. The heart of the building is the primary care and behavioral services area on the second floor where physicians and staff are strategically located together to offer integrated medicine and to maximize patient care. Over the next 18 to 24 months, the first floor will include a, a most lab operations as well as imaging services. The general contractor was Unger Construction Company. Boulder Associate Agri Architects designed the building and engineering services were provided by MEP engineers, uh, KPPF structural engineers, BKF civil engineers and Petra Design, Petra Engineering and Project Management. Congratulations to Providence St. Joseph Health on this great addition to our medical infrastructure. We end with probably one of the funnest uh, awards uh, we were able to give today. And this goes to the Coffee Park Neighborhood Park, which was reborn after the Tubbs Fire of 2017. Built in 1986, the five acre Coffee Park Neighborhood uh, at 1524 Amanda Place in Santa Rosa was destroyed by the 2017 Tubbs Fire. Thanks to combined efforts of the neighborhood, community, and school groups, public entities at all level of government levels, and with support from private individuals, the park was reborn in October at this, of this year at a cost of 3.3 million, 680,000 coming from donors, including 500,000 from Kaiser Permanente. Thank you so much. The Rotary Club uh, raised $100,000 for the Wellspring water drop uh, sculptures in the rain garden to uh, be a lasting reminder of water's renewal quality. A separate pollinator garden attracts birds and insects. A large field is ideal for sports along with two play equipment areas, a smaller one for preschoolers and another for children aged five to 12, adjacent so uh, parents can keep a watchful eye. The park affords uh, area for relaxa relaxation and sun or shade. Visitors can walk, run, or pause at the fitness stations along a 437 meter loop around path through the, lands uh, through the landscape. Mark, it is marked at 100 meter intervals. Four laps equals one mile. 
There are bike racks, ping pong tables, and other tables with imprinted chess, checkerboards, concrete, uh, uh, beanbag uh, game sites, a dog park, as well as picnic tables, and night lighting for security, of course. Carlisle Macy was the design architect. Team Gelati was the general contractor. And Bordo Lussi uh, Watkin provided landscaping. Congratulations to the Coffee Park neighborhood for, for getting your park back. Thanks so much. So it looks like uh, we're gonna give you some time back. Uh, we're, we're finishing a little early. Um, I wanna, uh, first of all, close this out by thanking our underwriter, Gelati Construction. You know, again, give them a wave or an email uh, to thank them for making it possible for this to be a free event to attendee. Our award sponsors, Exchange Bank, Providence St. Joseph Health, Mid-State Construction, Wright Contracting, and our award sponsors, Boulder Associates Architects, GMH Builders, Sonoma Clean Power, Sonoma Hill Builders, and TLCD Agriculture, Architecture, excuse me. Finally, I can't sign off here uh, without acknowledging that this is my last event with the Business Journal as I enter the non-working chapter of my life at the end of this month. And it has been a privilege to host some 300 events over my 15 years at the Journal. And we've also consumed a few miles of newsprint and been a part of producing, I don't know how many gigabytes of online news. I just want to say thank you for letting me uh, be a small part of what I think is the best business community on earth. I and everyone at the Business Journal hope your holidays are filled with love and joy and everyone take care. We'll see you soon. Thank you for being with us.